The apostle of Ireland, a saint was he, passed away in March on the 17th. Remembered and will for eternity, so rise for St. Patrick's celebrity. The musical Leprechaun needs your help. He lost all of his traditional Irish instruments and needs you to collect all of them along the way. Let's get into the magical transportation rainbow to run in place and find the first traditional Irish instrument. Are you ready? Here we go! Take a seat to learn about our first traditional Irish instrument. So, first up on our list is this instrument. Hmm, wow, it looks pretty cool. This instrument is called the bazooki. Let's check it out. The bazooki is a plucked string instrument that is classified as a chordophone. This instrument originally came from Greece, but made its way to Ireland in the mid-1960s. There are six strings on the bouzouki and can be considered part of the mandolin family. Sweet! Let's take a listen to the bouzouki. Yeah, do you hear the strings getting plucked? Plucked by the fingers. Pretty cool. Let's listen a little more. Keep that instrument sound in your brain. You will need that later on. For now, stand back up to run in place to get to our next instrument. Here we go! traditional Irish instrument. Okay, on to the next instrument from Ireland, the bow run. Whoa, listen to that. It sounds like drums. Well, yes, the bow run is part of the percussion family. Let's take a look at what this is all about. The bow run is a circular drum that can vary in size. A goatskin head is tightly wrapped around the wooden frame of the drum. One hand is placed underneath the goatskin drum head to control the pitch and timbre. Timbre? That word looks like timber. Hey, Mr. Henry! <sighs> hey there, Mr. Cordino. Well, you scared me. Oh, sorry. I just wanted to tell you that the word is pronounced timbre, not timber. Right, well, of course. Uh, well, I knew that. Yeah. But timbre, well, what does timbre mean? Timbre can be described as the color of the tone or tone quality. Color of the tone, eh? Hmm, pretty cool. So, the timbre of the bow run kind of has a darker tone, while the timbre of the bazooki has a brighter kind of color to it. Yes, yes, of course, and this is how we know the difference between instruments by listening. We are listening for their timbre. You got it! Cool. Well, thank you, Mr. Quarternote. Okay, back to the bow run. The bow run came about in the mid 19th century from the tambourine. A tambourine looks just like a bow run, but has symbols all around the drum. The bow run is like a tambourine, but without cymbals, and the hand, or tipper, is used to play the instrument. The tipper is the stick used, 
and has two sides on each end to hit against. Let's take a listen to the bow run. Yeah, do you hear the stick hitting against the drum head? Neato. Let's listen a little more. Keep that instrument sound in your brain. You will need that later on. For now, stand back up to run in place to get to our next instrument. Here we go! Take a seat to find our third traditional Irish instrument. Okay, on to the next instrument from Ireland, the melodeon. The melodeon looks just like an accordion and uses buttons. This is classified as a free reed aerophone. To play it, you squeeze and pull back and forth while pressing down the buttons. The melodeon came about during the 19th century and is used in traditional Irish music. Let's take a listen to the melodeon. Keep that instrument sound in your brain. You will need that later on. For now, stand back up to run in place to get to our next instrument. Here we go! Take a seat to find our fourth traditional Irish instrument. On to the last of our instruments from Ireland. Let's take a listen to the tin whistle, also known as the penny whistle. The tin or penny whistle kind of looks like a recorder, and a long time ago the instrument was named the penny whistle because it only cost a penny to buy. It's made out of tin sheet or brass. It has six holes in the front, which you cover with your fingers to produce different tones while you put air through the penny whistle. Let's take a listen to the penny whistle. Keep that instrument sound in your brain. You will need that later on. For now, stand back up to get to the musical leprechaun's pot of gold. Here we go! all of the instruments but now we have to get to the musical leprechaun's pot of gold in order to make it you will listen to one of the four traditional irish instruments we learned about and must walk to the corner of that instrument you have 10 counts to find the corner of the instrument you hear if you are incorrect you are out and must take a seat will you make it to the pot of gold Let's listen to this traditional instrument. Ready, set, go!
the traditional Irish instrument is... Nice! You are one step closer to the pot of gold. Let's get to the next round. Let's listen to this traditional instrument. Ready, set, go! instrument is nice you are one step closer to the pot of gold let's get to the next round let's listen to this traditional instrument instrument is nice you are one step closer to the pot of gold let's get to the next round let's listen to this traditional instrument Step closer to the pot of gold. Let's get to the next round. Let's listen to this traditional instrument. Ready, set, go! instrument is nice you are one step closer to the pot of gold let's get to the next round let's listen to this traditional instrument One step closer to the pot of gold. 
Let's get to the next round. Let's listen to this traditional instrument. Let's listen to this traditional instrument. Pot of gold. Here we go. Once in a while in the same 